Pokemon has been a hit with kids way back since 1996, <laughs> but now during its 25th anniversary, adult collectors are getting back into the craze for big time cash. Were you into this as a kid? No, this is a little bit after <laughs> my time. <laughs> Same. So here's what's going on here. Uh, it's making it hard for kids to get the cards they need to play, and in some cases, even fighting over <laughs> these valuable cards. Violence. Madeline Montgomery explains what's going on here. Walmart and Target have actually had to stop selling these because people were making a mess in the store and even getting violent. And those weren't kids, those were adults. There was even a man who pulled a gun on another customer just to get Pokemon cards. And you can still buy these cards if you come to places like here, past, present, future comics, but they have trouble finding the cards too. And that means that the demand is high and kids are having trouble finding cards to play with. Angry slash hollow. Steal it, Walker on K has got to catch them all when it comes to Pokemon cards. There's Pokemon everywhere in every single room. But this is no longer just a kid's game. Pokemon got big during the pandemic when influencers started collecting them. And values for rare cards went through the roof. Yeah, it's 1000 in real price. That means cards are getting harder and harder to find. Frustrating parents and kids who just want to play the game. One time my dad went to like seven Target and like 20 Walmarts and couldn't find one. Online scammers are all over the internet selling fake cards or no cards at all and making off with the money. Every time you find it, that it could just be an entire scam and then you used all your money on nothing. We've had a lot of tears when packets that we have ordered in the mail haven't come or I've had to cancel orders because once I go back and look, I find out that the website or the dealer on Amazon or the dealer on eBay is a scam, you know, is running a scam. On the bright side, one day, these cards might help pay for college. So have you sold any of your cards yet? No. When are you gonna do it, do you know? When I'm like 20. Whoa! So if your kid is into Pokemon, don't worry, this craze will die down. In the meantime, if you're trying to buy cards, come to reputable stores like this one. And if you're buying online, make sure the seller has good reviews. From West Palm Beach, Madeline Montgomery, CBS 12 News.